Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. I'm wearing my favorite blue flannel shirt, which considering the fact that about 48 hours ago we did have snow flurries, I can still wear flannel, okay? <laughs> it, it, it's April, it'll, it'll start warming up here eventually. <laughs> In this segment, I, and I know we've talked about electric vehicles before, but I read, a, I read some articles this past week and I just feel like uh, they, they being the leftists, they just keep stirring this pot, okay? And and here's and here's what I read now, and I say now, okay? I read an article, and I th- I think I saw it in the the right scoop. And the gist of the article was how in ten years, California is going to lead the way, and it appears eight other states are going to follow that in 10 years, California is going to outlaw the sale of vehicles with combustible engines. Right. And I just, I, I just want to scream, you know, they just won't let up. They just this is will good not news. let up. This is good news for car dealers in Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Arizona. Well, it's interesting you said Oregon because that it's on the list of eight that want to follow (laughs) okay well then maybe maybe washington will be the state where you go to buy your car and drive it home well washington's on that list too (laughs) well i i I shouldn't i shouldn't say i'm surprised because you know the left coast is it's the left coast it's the left in fact i have the list of california and the eight other vehicles i'll just quickly run down run down them because i noticed something about this list okay a couple things in fact california connecticut connecticut Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, no surprise there, New Jersey, Oregon, Rhode Island, and Washington. What do these what will all nine of these states have in common other than their idiocy? Uh, they they have a burning desire to be Marxist. Well, they're coastal states. New England coast oh, and right, West yeah. Coast, the left coast. I, I mean, so is there a you, point to that or is it just coincidental? Well, I, I have always off and on beat the pulpit about you got the east coast primarily new england and the west coast left coast uh out of touch with the flyover country i i mean and right here it is right here it is it's it's uh, the national pandemic of narcissism yeah and and of these uh eight states uh i'm going to point out california new new york and oregon they're losing populations and I got to tell you, California and New York, both especially, they need to lose a whole lot of their population. You know, well, people are one of, uh, one of the problems that I see there. Yeah, the people leave after they get what they voted for. Well, that is the fear that, that, that you know, that is the fear. But it's just uh, and, you know, I was stationed in California for about ten and a half months and I loved it there. I I thought it, I thought it was so cool and. And I was stationed at uh, Fort Lewis, Washington for two and a half years. And I, I even loved it there with all the rain. But uh, I'll tell you what, I, I, I am so glad I never stayed on the left coast there. I, you know, I, there was a time when I dreamed about it. But boy, am I glad it was only a dream. You know, I just, uh, man, I'm just, I'm just glad I'm, I'm not there anymore. In, in keeping with this idiocy, Pete Buttigieg had to make some stupid commentary because he was he was basically being pressed on the issue one the grid is the power grid isn't prepared to charge all these vehicles oh but they're working on it and and yeah you know i think he even said something to the effect all the more reason we need to get up to speed with the power grid because because this is good you know according to him this is going to happen in 10 years you know uh well, there's other reasons to get up to speed, and I don't disagree with him. We do need to get up to speed with the power grid because it's woefully insufficient, uh, and it's also very hackable. Uh, years ago, Congress did a study that if uh, we lost power, I think actually due to an EMP, but if the grid went down for as, as in the first three months, like 40, 50 million people would be dead. Well, as Pete Buttigieg I hope you notice my sarcasm in his pronunciation, uh, Pete Buttigieg, uh, as he as he's 
being interviewed, he commences to compare those of us who don't want to buy electrical vehicles. He compares us to the older generation that just doesn't want to give up their landlines. Why can't you people just get with the times? Well, it's, it's another leftless, leftist lie. I, I don't know anyone personally that has a landline anymore. Well, my my father does. I okay. and I do and I do poke at it, at him about it. But you know, you talk about you talk about comparing apples to oranges. Heck, you're like comparing an apple to to a something else. Not even in the fruit uh, food uh, uh, category. But I right. mean, it it his comparison of since we don't want to buy an electric vehicle. Uh, we just don't want to get with the times. What he was saying just reeked of condescension. You well, know, he, of Why? course, that's who they are. And don't you realize how much better they are than us? How much smarter than they are than us? Well, clearly he thinks he's smarter than us, you know, since he's with it and we're not. You know, yeah. I just uh, you well, shouldn't he, be surprised. He, is, but this he is, is a homosexual man, so that makes him more courageous than us and certainly more more uh, in tune with the fact that we all need to become one. Yeah. Uh, it's just, and you know, and, and as I was uh, researching material for this, I remember 20 something years ago when uh, Granholm was ma- uh, mayor, was Granholm was our governor. And I heard her on, uh, I want to say WJR, and I think it was Paul W. Smith at the time. Uh, she was talking about, how here in Michigan, by 2020, we were going to be so advanced in uh, uh, renewable energy. And I remember sitting in the car listening to this thinking, 2020, what about tomorrow? Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, and, and that's one of these things about how. Well, that know, never happened. And this is never going to happen. Well, leading to my next uh, uh, supposition here, I got to wonder if they're just, you know, are, are, are they doing this so that uh, the making them look like they're morally superior? You know, there's that. And I think there's a control issue here. If oh, I yeah. can turn your car on and off with a switch. And by the way, in 2026, all newly manufactured cars that come, either come into the United States or are manufactured in the United States are going to have to have a kill switch, which means, boy, I don't like your Facebook post there, TJ. You're not driving until you make a public apology to whomever you've offended. Yeah, well, or you know, get your mind right with the government. I, I, I've had to wonder if, if you know, short-term gain, I'm going to look morally superior, yeah. and if we can make it happen in ten years, fine. And maybe in seven or eight, they're they're going to say, uh, we need another five or ten years to really make this happen. They, I mean, they are, they are the other side of the coin to the uh, the Republican high routers. Yeah, oh, they do yes. what they do to look morally superior. Yes, uh, and and I don't want to leave Michigan out of out of this mix either. Whitmer wants all state fleet vehicles to be electric by 2040, and and you know think about it, that's 16 years from now. She's not going to be governor. The state you know? police. Well, they always do this. The state police have one vehicle that's an electric vehicle, and you know what's its purpose for? Administrative. Because it cannot go on patrol. We 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 will have a good month or two of brutal winter. Uh, it's pretty much accepted right now that the EV batteries do not hold up well when when we have these Arctic plunges. In you know, addition that to that, from. it you know Texas a few years ago is an example. The ability to create the power the way they want to via wind and sun is non-existent. Oh, and speaking of wind, uh, and you may or may not know this, but uh, uh, in 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 the northern thumb, because if you look at Michigan as a mitten, you have the thumb. Uh, just uh, kind of, uh, yeah, yeah uh, kind of. I want to say a little southeast of the Bad Axe area, uh, they have they have quite a huge wind farm. Okay. In fact, as you go up Route 19 from Sandusky to Bad Axe, you will drive literally through it. Uh, and uh, the word is every winter during the harsh uh, harsh months, they got to shut them down. 
so these these wind farms uh are only good for decent weather we'll say well what i'd like to see is if you want if you want to impose this electric vehicle upon me and have it have you have the government control my life then the government should only be able to use wind and solar to power the grid yeah you shouldn't be able to you should not be able to use fossil fuels to create the energy to to perpetrate the lie of the electric vehicle only use wind, wind and uh, wind and solar. That's all you can charge your car with. But we see if anyone's driving that after about two weeks. Give, given the few news reports I read this past week on this topic, I was compelled to share it and vent, and uh, in, an, in an effort to ease my pain, I'll say, or whatever. But uh, that, that's all I got for now. Just just the latest environmental insanity. Well, uh, they got in here, store for us. You know what I care about? How much I care about uh, Pete Buttigieg's opinion about anything? I think you might phrase it this way: an obese rodent's derriere is how much I care about what he says about anything. <laughs> That's politically correct speech, there. That's right. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, I'm I'm guessing you've said your piece too. I have. All right. Okay. We'll call this one a wrap. Thanks everyone for your support and we'll catch you in the next segment. As always, be safe, watch your six and don't tread on me.